Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. We're at the very start of Book 5, which is the final book. Starting in Chapter 12, Recall. Hey! Zoe, you're awake. What? Wonkers, get off me! Oh, what time is it? Wait, where... where am I? You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... no. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma for a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers, you don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No, I... I can't sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! Yeah, this is some sort of hell purgatory. They're trying to keep her asleep. Are you tired, Zoe? You must be tired. Let's go back to sleep. I'll stay right here. I promise I won't ever leave you. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. You're not feeling well. I can tell. You're exhausted. And you're seeing things that aren't real. I... I don't know what's wrong, but it's not me. It's this place. It's you, Wonkers. You're all wrong. That hurts my feelings, Zoe. Good old Wonkers. For as long as I can remember, he's been there for me. Like a surrogate sibling and guardian. Best gift ever. But there's something not quite right about him. I can't put my finger on it, but he's not. Not really wonkers. Those vitals aren't too bad. Why don't you go back to sleep, Zoe? You'll feel much better if you do. Oh, I can go to sleep. Heck no. I've slept enough. The call button should really be next to the bed. Although, I guess they weren't expecting me to wake up from my coma anytime soon. Over 200 unread posts. So, I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, it's so hard to read. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, uh, see you at the gym soon? I do remember going to the gym in the original Dreamfall. Text message feed, get well, Zoe, I really miss you. Hope you feel better soon. When you're getting out of the hospital, can't wait to see you. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Happy birthday. Happy, happy. Birthday kisses. There's... Marissa, who last we heard was an imposter or something. Flowers from Liv.
I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Graduation day, in front of Jami Hall. Are there clothes in here? Ah. No, this isn't really me anymore. No. Where am I going to get some other clothes? <laughs> is, is there any other stuff? No, nope, that's it. No, this isn't really me anymore. Jardin de Roses. Home, sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Locked. All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. Dad and me in Casablanca. That's me in Cape Town. This must have been Sandy Bay. Oh, beautiful waters, carefree days. Oh, I miss it. The Atlantic Ocean looks perfectly serene from here. When the megastorms aren't raging, of course, then not so much. Mum, Dad, and me. That was when we moved to Casablanca. It's a card from Karen. It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels... unsafe. Yeah, it's obviously some sort of a prison. Thanks for joining oh. us. Things are generally going very well today, wouldn't you say so, Marek? Incredibly well, Rika. We'll soon be out of jobs, the both of us. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind one bit, Marek. Following up on yesterday's heartwarming Wattie Corp story, the company behind everyone's favorite dream machine has announced that customer satisfaction has reached an unprecedented 110%. Impressive, Rika, but who can argue the dreamer has changed everything? An end to war, an end to violence, an end to poverty. What are we doing here, Marek? We should be in dream time too. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Rika. You said it. Wattie Corp has also announced that surplus profits from the dream machine will go to sponsoring free dreamers for children in need worldwide, giving them the opportunity to escape their dreary, pointless existence for a life of endless joy and happiness inside dream time. Outstanding. Just another reason why Wattie Corp is our favorite corporation, Marek. And they're not even paying us to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, things are great. They are so, so good. Just trust us on that. God, what sort of hell am I in? Get me the hell out of here. I guess I have no option other than to call for help. Someone will be with you shortly. It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels unsafe. Do I have to actually wait? Because I already looked at everything. Um. Your call has been registered. We will send someone to your room as soon as possible. You don't sound right. You're imagining things, Zoe. You're very, very tired. Sleeping will help you feel better. You should go back to sleep. Just for a little while. No. I'm not sure what to do. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. 
Thanks for. Thanks for. TVs don't work like that, do they? Just repeating the same loop? I can't tell if this is, like, if this is real, but they've just created this hell for me, or what feels more likely that this whole thing is some weird dream. Like, maybe I'm in the dream or locked. something. All that beach and sunshine, and I'm locked inside. Can I really do nothing? put my finger on it unless I literally put my finger on it I think I need to take a closer look at things whoa you notice how when you're not looking directly at the pictures they mess up mum and dad were always moving when I was growing up because of their jobs this must have been the fifth or sixth home we moved into I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there it had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony, and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and... and Mum. We played hide-and-seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well. Or her face. Or that she was there with dad and me uh what just happened our fifth anniversary reza and i took the back tracks to norway and a hydrofoil to svalbard we spent a long weekend traveling around the island we always talked about going to svalbard it's such an incredible place so majestic and so alien and i was totally geeking out about going inside the doomsday vault five years together almost hard to believe things have been rocky between us from time to time it's amazing that we that we lasted this long i remember we stayed at the uh what was the name of that place again and where was it I don't... I don't remember... any of it. Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on jammy steps and looking out over the city. I remember feeling like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made it to graduation. It's almost... almost like a dream. Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there, I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? I'm so happy to have Olivia DeMarco in my life. An alien the cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. I can't wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I... I remember something about... Now, I'm officially freaked out. Anything else glitching out?
Doesn't seem like it, just the same things that were before. Good old Wonkers. For as long as I can remember, he's been there for me. Like a surrogate sibling and guardian. Best All gift ever. But Please wait there's for the next available something nurse. not quite right about it. Not being in a coma probably helps. Those vitals aren't too bad. Not being in a coma probably helps. Get well, get better. Please wake up, hope you recover. Don't die. Where's that book you borrowed? Come back to us, all our love. Where were these people before my coma? I spent my 21st birthday in a coma. That's just sad. Hey, a message from Emma. Oh, she finally opened her gallery in Europolis. Nice, I'll have to visit soon. Jama sent me something. Knowing her, it's probably a list of exercises to get me back in the gym. Oh, an invitation from CTU to come back and talk about my experiences. What experiences? How to not succeed after graduation? Avoiding bed sores? Also, the event was six months ago. Fantastic. My surprisingly large circle of acquaintances has been busy talking about me in my absence. Now that I'm awake, I probably won't hear from any of them ever again. Over 200 unread posts. So I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Something happened to her, to live. Something terrible. Oh, do I need to look at them after reality glitches? I thought that was the end of looking at each thing. Olivia, she's dead. I know it, I feel it. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip, aside from talking to Reza about it and this photo. We were there and we've been together for five years, Have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. Mum was... she wasn't... where was she? It's a card from Karen. I think that's... All of them. Okay, so what do I do with them? Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please I didn't lie graduate. down, just I for a out. minute. I mean, I'll watch over sometimes you. I wish I hadn't. I'll but sing for you. This is a false memory. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back Liv to bed. Liv had an accident. Go back She's to dead. sleep, Zoe. She never sent me a get well card. Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a... a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together, the both of us, forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Now, before it's too late. Before... Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Good old Why couldn't you just leave things For as be? long as I can remember, he's we been there for me. We could be happy here. Like a... Something's wrong. This 
place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Ellie. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty night. I'll miss you too, buddy. Oh. What's this? Is this a one-way window? Have they been observing me? Fuck. Imagine they're just gonna let me walk out of here. Is that a force field? What? Vip, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court-martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadir to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse. A solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. Oh god, of course. I will make that decision just as soon as I return from the bathroom. Okay, I'm back. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She must stand trial, but we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. She's murdered thousands, and she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. Hmm. All right, so it's, for me, it's either killer or sadir. people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. So I've forgotten who, what the character's name is and kind of where their place is in the story that um, Keon is talking to, the like bearded military guy. He's obviously someone higher up, but I, I, I don't know who he is, but obviously he's got quite a lot of power. And obviously based on what uh, she told us, she'd been doing those experiments without, without the higher ups knowing basically. 
And obviously now that they do know, apparently they're not happy with it. Um, hmm. But the only thing that makes me not want to go with Sadir is this. She must stand trial, but we don't know what's happening in Sadir. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. Yeah, someone may want to protect her. Do it. Let's send her home. Good. We'll send a ship back to Azadir as soon as possible. Lock her up and keep her safe. She'll be going home to Sadir. Let me go, you fools. You're doing the shadows' work. Uh, uh, goddess, uh, help me. Oh, it hurts. What now, Kian? We go back and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. But when I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Vamon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes open this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you, and the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kian, for distrusting you. I should have known better. Our friendship may never be the same, but we need to put this behind us and move on. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. I'm disappointed in him. He should know me better than to think I would knowingly betray my people. But I won't confront him about it until after the war is won. We need to move quickly. We have an advantage now, but precious little time. I understand. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guillen? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. She has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercuria and arrest Vamon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels, against Vamon's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved. We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. Things are really coming to a head. I wish I remembered what his relationship was with Keon, though. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? You've done all I've asked. With the General away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support from Sadir has been unwavering. I am pleased with your work. Now oh, that doesn't bode well. For two reasons. The, the, the support in Sadir has been unwavering. That doesn't bode well for bringing that person to justice that I sent back to Sadir. And also, 
The fact that the general was sent away just so that he wouldn't be here. <sighs> what was her name on the left there? Mother Utana? The person who uh, told the general to go looking for Liko and Kion? Does that mean she is you know, not, not a double agent not trying to help Kion or Liko or anybody? Was, you know, just a pawn trying to get the general out of there? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. The Prophet's whole... Their, their clothes and their mask and their staff and everything are just gorgeous. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, but most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? And have him cast us from the top of the tower? We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. Oh, that's not Mother Utana right there. My bad. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active. We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that we... Don't worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, Exploring the mountains close to my village. I met an old Dormari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dormari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life. But I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me. Felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, 
We are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to Magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring. But if we don't act tonight, in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, alive if possible, dead if necessary. You'll take your commands from the General. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. Anik will lead a team to Coldstone to free Ulvik and the imprisoned rebels, along with Benrime Salmin, who risked her life aiding the resistance. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world. From destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna and Enu will escort Ferdows and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important. And more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for. I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Hami. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kia. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. On that note, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're hopefully going to shut down the engine.